The difference between the dimension lines and the leader lines is the leader lines often will have only one arrowhead, although sometimes they'll have a pair of arrowheads also. But the leader line will come off at an angle. The standards say it should never be horizontal or vertical. And then you'll find a dimension at the end of that leader line. There'll usually be this little horizontal line at the end that takes you to the dimension. Here's a couple of examples where we're dimensioning a hole with a diameter of 11. And so that would be the straight line distance across this closed curve we call the hole. And this is a boss, so instead of cutting out material, this is adding material. It's known as a boss. And it also has a diameter of 11. Notice there's only one arrowhead here. There could have been two, but usually there'll just be one. So dimensions use the pairs of arrowheads, like we see here with the 30 or the 10, it's sharing. Uh, the 15 is a pair. Here the 40 has a pair, the 20 has a pair. And look at this, we're gonna talk about angular dimensions later on. This 45 is 45 degrees, giving us the angle that this surface is on. And it uses a pair of arrowheads. So this would also be considered a dimension line. Now the dimension lines touch what are known as extension lines. So these are extension lines, they're extending out from features from points on features or extensions of surfaces. They will not ever have arrowheads on them. They allow us to get the dimensions away from the actual view, so it's easier to see the shape of the part. We mentioned sometimes dimensions share an arrowhead. We see that here with the 30 and the 10. They're sharing that arrowhead. I see it down here also they're sharing an arrowhead. Now the dimensions have to be placed in a view where the dimension is true or where the feature is shown in its true shape. Notice that this 35 is on this angle. It would have been wrong to have that 35 here because it's not 35, it's foreshortened in this top view. But this is giving us a view of the true shape of the surface. I wouldn't dimension where this hole is in this view. Notice I have this 18 over in this auxiliary view. So the auxiliary view was created so you could see this inclined surface in its true size and the hole as a nice round hole. Up in this view it's an ellipse. So it would be wrong to put a dimension here because it's not in its true shape. Now I could have put a dimension here because this is a true dimension, even though it's going to the ellipse. That would probably be considered poor drafting practice. So we see that we have the dimension, once again, in this auxiliary view where we're seeing the surface in its true shape. It is true that it's 20 millimeters here, just like it is here, but it would be better practice to put it in this view.